everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by. Tonight I'm going to show you how I do another daisy design on a glass bottle. This is a green glass wine bottle. And I'm going to be using my number 10 Royal Aqualon, my number 8 flat brush, flat one stroke brush, a liner one stroke brush, and then my number 6 deer foot uh, stippler. I'm going to be using Thicket, Berry Wine, Fresh Foliage, uh, Silver, or Metallic Silver I should say, Wicker White, Moon Yellow, and Cinnamon. Alright, let's go ahead and get started now. I am reusing this bottle. This is not a good bottle. Um, my husband ended up cleaning some for me that I am going to sell, but this one I had tried to soak the label and all that good stuff and it got some paint because my sink is an artist's sink, it's full of paint, uh, residue and whatever. So I didn't actually get them clean on the inside, so we're just going to, these are my, going along with my gloss that I wash off and reuse and redo. So anyways, let's get started, enough about that. If you like my video once I'm done, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell uh, so you get notified when I post something new. And when it's all over, please make sure you share this on your social network with your family and friends. There's a button right underneath that makes it very easy to do. Okie dokie. So I am just going to stick my filbert brush and it I'm going to use some of the silver just to give it so it's not all white just to give it you know some shadowing alright so let's go ahead and get started now you could use a smaller brush I am just using this one because that's what I used on my design to begin with on my sample just so you know, that's the reason for it. But you can actually turn it to the side if you want to get some more pebbles in here. You don't have to flatten it out and pull it like, like I'm doing. Alright, so this is real easy. If you're new to my channel, just please know that my intention is to have designs that are very easy. So the beginner painters, or if you're a newbie to painting, you're not intimidated. You know, some of the videos I watch can be very in intimidating. You know, they're awesome to watch, but could I actually do them? Probably not. So. I don't want to discourage anybody. I really want you to try, especially right now when there's so much uncertainty with our country. This is a great way to help you with your, if you have anxiety about what's going on, if you're nervous, doing any kind of creative work. You know, whether you're knitting or you're drawing, because I want to do some drawing videos. The doodling and stuff is very therapeutic. I mean, there is such a thing as art therapy. And it works. Because it's just almost there, it almost kind of meditative like. At least to me it is. You know, I can not pay attention to what's going on around me by doing and being creative. So just a suggestion. Again on something like this you could do your strokes like this if you wanted them to be thinner and not the flat like this. You can combine them. You can have more openings. You have spaces in between your blooms. They don't all have to be 
but I'm going to say they don't all have to be right up next to each other, or they can be. It's really, really, really up to you. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do three blooms. I mean, the partial little one down here is one. And then I'm going to do this one. And that, the one above. It's a, it's a small area to paint in because I'm just doing the front of the bottle. Since I'm not actually selling this bottle, I'm not doing the whole going around it bit. And I am just kind of going over some of these just for the mere fact of giving it more opaqueness. That's what I'm doing. Now, just to give that a little drying time, I'm going to go ahead and take my little liner brush. I'm dipping it into my green. And for just for the purpose of starting, I'm going to just do one color at a time and just do like a little vine. It doesn't have to be anything fancy and it can go up, down, around, however you want it to be. And you put it in with another color, like the lighter, it'll show up better. You know, right now, obviously, you're probably thinking, I can't see it. Nope, you sure can't. True story. You can't see it. But you will. You will be able to here in a minute. I promise you that. Alright, so we're keeping going here. And let's go like that. I'm kind of pulling it to it. You get a thinner on the end if you pull it away. But, you know, however you want to do it is fine. And then... I'm so sorry about that. Got all these spam calls. Like, gosh, they drive me nuts. And I'm sure you're inundated with them as well. And I lied. I'm going to do a little bloom here. And I forgot all about it. A little bud, I mean. A little bud. So I'm kind of making it a little round. Hope you can see that. I know my my hand is an issue with being left-handed, and I apologize for that. But it's so hard. It's so hard not to have it in the way. Very hard. There we go. And we're just keeping it, just trying to keep it round. I can even throw a little bit of yellow in here, which will make it even brighter, because the fresh foliage is not really a bright color. And I like to throw some yellow into my green designs anyways, because it does give a little extra um, shade to the design. So I'm just going to leave it like that and then of course continue on with filling in my stem which of course now I got red on there. It's fine. It'll work out. Oh and I just put it in the white. Oh, I'm doing really good. Don't do what I'm doing guys. This is not what I'm intending. <laughs> It's been a long day. But anyhow, truly, truly, you know, with the stress level of people right now, it is very concerning. You know, I have a lot of issues in my own family, things that are happening, and uh, kind of unfair ways that employers are handling which I don't know, I'm assuming are illegal, but who knows. But anyways, just take care of yourself. Just remember, this too shall pass. It's not forever. We just have to get through it together. 
and together we will. Definitely together we will. All right, I'm trying to keep this relatively quick. I'm not trying to last forever with this. And then I'm coming out here. I just my main concern is rolling this on top of uh, top of the paper that I'm doing this on. I'm really good at messing up my designs if you watch me. That's probably why people watch me is to see me mess up my designs. Okay, so with this brush I'm just taking, and you can do little little lines if you want, just taking the brush. I didn't really want to have that much yellow in that one, but you can. I mean it's fine, however you want to do it. I'm just taking the brush and just going through and putting just some little little stems off of this branch. And then I'm just going to come in here and just touch it. Just do some petals that are just real quick, easy, and sporadic. I mean, they're not going to be set in any type of order. They're just going to be on here, however I want them to be. And then just do... Like this one, I'm going to tame this down a little bit with the yellow. And I'm just touching. Hopefully you can see. I'm trying to be conscious of my <clears throat> hand. Just touching. See that? Just very easy. And then I kind of come here and do the same thing. Skin this up a little bit. But take this brush, this little liner brush. Just do some quick little pulls from the branch, or the stem, I should say, and make other little, little branches that come off from it. And there we go. Just real, real faint, real light. You can do, fill it in. Make sure that it's as opaque as you can get it because as I mentioned many times in my videos, the more opaque you apply your your paint when you're glass painting, the more durable it's going to be. And that's something I wanna wanna make sure you you really get because you know you don't wanna do a design and then have it wash off. You know, what's the point of that? There really isn't one. So, anyways, but see, that's that's pretty. I mean, even though it's a darker green bottle, you could do it other colors if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to stick with with the greens. Yeah, you can do these in any color. You know, if you're real creative and you don't mind fearing off, hey, you know, make them purple, blue, whatever doesn't have to be a green stem. It can be brown. It can be whatever you want it to be. So don't be afraid to try new things. Or to stray from the norm. Okay, don't be afraid. If you happen to paint any of my designs or get inspiration from them, I would love to see photos. I do post my uh, Facebook page down below the videos, so please feel free to share there. If you would, that would be awesome. Alright, so there I have that. This is my little designs. What I'm going to do now is go back with my stippler brush, and I've been doing this kind of center for all of my, my daisies, but I'm going to go ahead and stipple this in. I'm just kind of sticking with the, the round circle, 
I guess the circle is round. This kind of was kind of silly for me to say, huh? Oh well, like I said, it's been a long, long couple days actually. It's all good. All good. And I like the combination of the yellow, the moon yellow, and the cinnamon. It's a nice combination, I think at least. And you, if you want, like I've done in some of the other videos, I've topped in or tapped in some white. I gotta remember this one is the opposite direction. And then you can go back over it again if you want. Maybe just do some little blending. Not too blend much because you want that, that white to show. But you can do some more with the brown. Or the cinnamon I should call it because that's what it is. And there you have it. Now if you want to add dots to it, feel free to do so. That's up to you. Okay, so what I did is cleaned out my little liner brush and I just went through I wanted to put just some little holes here just around part of this center. Not through the whole thing, just through part of it. And then kind of do, make sure I'm not touching anything here. Kind of do the same on this little one. They're not very big. They're just little poles. Kind of just stick around the center a little bit. There we go. Like that. And you can do some, you know, coming out from this. I'm not going to mess with that leave it like that for those two. The next step I'm going to do is double load my my little flat brush and because the design is so small you know I wanted to to use the smaller brush. I mean there are smaller so I'm not using the smallest of brushes but I'm just kind of double loading it. I should have put my paint closer together, but anyhow, we're going to do the, these kind of leaves, which are, I'm doing a lot of just wiggling, because I want them to be really, kind of have sharp edges or uh, rigid edges on them, so they're not flat. I'm so afraid I'm going to mess up the design if I sit this down. I'm praying that I don't, but anyhow. It's just really wiggling it back and forth just a lot. You can wiggle faster if you want. I'm not doing it very fast, but you could. A lot of them are just going to be down here at the bottom. Yeah, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Stick with down here at the bottom for a minute. And you can rotate these to where your Again, with any of my designs where you're doing the different colors as far as there's light on the outside, there's like be these both are the same, but they don't have to be. Oh my goodness, just want to mess it up. Okay. Meaning that, okay, I started out with those being too light, and now I can go like this and just kind of wiggle it out, and I can actually come right back up. So I have dark on both sides. And you can do it faster if you want. Painting on the glass, though, is definitely different than painting on the paper or the canvas. So you definitely have to keep that in mind. And I want 
would like for these petals to be going upwards as well. So, I know, it's like, I just wish I could get you to be able to see my stroking. I'm trying to see if this would be better. So I told somebody the other day that, you know, I'm working on this, but I don't know why it's such a challenge for me to try to figure out how to be able to get you to see my my leaves. And you can make them, you know, thinner kind. You can combine. You don't have to use all the same style of leaf. That was a little interesting since I have so much yellow in there. Oh well. And then I'm just going to kind of do this a little bit. So we're going to really fast. And I apologize, I always have to say this, but my furnace just kicked on. And that's what you're hearing in the background. Not a whole lot I can do about that because it's where I do my videos and I just mess that up. So if you feel like, whoops, I'm messing it up again, dagnabbit. Okay, so just go back over it if you feel like you didn't do it quite right. Not exactly the way I wanted it. Then I'm going to do just a green, light green one. It's light in texture, not light in color. But if you want to, you can come up and add add some more. Which in my original design I did not do. I kept it kind of sparse. Just did these kind of leaves or similar down here. But if you want to add them up here, you can. Just wiggle, 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 and if you want to come back, you can do that. These are kind of fun when you do because you can actually, I'm going to wiggle, 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 come here to the point, and then come back here, and I can actually turn it, make a little curve here if I want, and sometimes it removes the paint, so if you want to actually load your brush again and do that, you can. If you want to have it coming down this way, you can, and then going back up. There's just a variety, and if you know if you're kind of frustrated with doing leaves, the only thing I can say is get out some wax paper and then just keep practicing them until you get it the way you want them. When you notice people doing them, I'm not going to say everybody does them differently, but there are some different ways to do them or different styles. Some are easier than others to do, and some it's just a matter of practice. Getting the feel, I, I honestly think when you're painting and doing stroke work painting, that you've got to get the feel of it. Your hand has to feel it in order for you to be able to do it. Once you teach it what to do, then you're going to be able to do it easier that makes sense. Alright, so we're almost finished here. I just want to kind of finish this one up. Giving it a little bit more paint and then I can come back and swirl. Again, if you can't, that's fine. You can load it. You can actually go back down your stem here if you've got you know, some things coming off of it that you didn't want. You can do a, one of these little doodads. It actually helps you erase paint. Very easy. Takes care of it. Alright, but here you have it. I hope you like it. Again, it's very easy. Please take my advice and if you're experiencing any kind of anxiety right now, even if you've never ever ever picked up a paintbrush or a marker or a pen or whatnot, it doesn't even matter what you have sit down and do something, whether it's doodling or what, 
doesn't cost a lot of money to do it, just do it. I Trust me, you'll feel better. All right. Appreciate you once again stopping by my channel. Hopefully you like this. You'll give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that sh uh, notification bell. And then last but not least, share this on your social network by hitting that button underneath the video. I would appreciate it. All right, until the next time, you have a good one. See you then.